Now, this is the one I've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this sister Jaguar White, Jaguar Wright. Um, I said before, she has so much info and these interviews are newer. Like I said, she's been talking about this stuff for a long, 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 long time. But these are newer interviews, man. We're back on the Real Life Productions channel. Uh, Jaguar Wright exposes Diddy. How she knew what was coming. The raids. And what's going to happen next. Yeah, that's what I want to know. What's going to happen next? So, shout out to all the good humans. We ain't going to waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. So, what are your thoughts on the show of force? Even not knowing... They did their job. He's a sex worker. He's got guts and he's got semen coated VHS tapes. And it's been a crazy year. But the reason why even right now your old interview that you did last year is trending even crazier because um, you're almost like uh, not Nostradamus, but Nostradamus. Mm. You, 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 what you have said, not only on in our interview, but on your own personal lives. Yeah. Uh, Which gets shadow banned starts coming, yeah, Shadow Things banned. start coming to fruition yeah. to where you targeted certain people in that interview. And now you're seeing, I don't want to even say downfall, but you're seeing that target that you put on people's backs. I'm seeing integrity wow. show up. Mm. Wow. You know, I, the day of the raid, yeah. I got a lot of notifications. I bet you did. I got a lot of ads. I got a lot of mentions. I got a lot of phone calls. When you said the day of the raid, you're talking about the raid on both Miami and California. Diddy's and New homes. York. Simultaneously. Wait, New York was uh, Yeah, the New York house was raided as well. Oh, wow. That didn't even... Yeah, yeah they didn't even really... Three put... states working in tandem, and they did not tell the officers who they were raiding. Smart. They went in tactical as they were instructed to. They didn't know they was raiding Diddy's house. That was smart. The mm -hmm. higher ups didn't tell anybody because they knew with Diddy being a, a fed informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to. Boom. That, yeah, that was smart. Because they said his, they found his plane over here, but then he was over here. So I still think he probably caught wind of it, but that was very smart by not letting them know because there's somebody, you know. Yeah, dirty work, man. Higher rubs didn't tell anybody because they knew with Diddy being a, a fed informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to make sure that went through legit. So they ain't tell nobody whose houses they was going to. And that's why you see the guns. The, the cops didn't know that it was Diddy's house over there in Beverly Hills around the corner from uh, uh, the Playboy Mansion. They didn't know until they seen the kids. So what are your thoughts on the show of force, even not knowing? They did their job. He's a sex worker. He's got guns and he's got semen coated fucking VHS tapes. Oh. You hear the interviewer? Oh. He said, oh. I would have went in in a hazmat suit. <laughs> oh. So let me ask you this. Um, when you first told us about your thoughts and you what you you honeycombs is what you yeah prefer. the honeycomb what shout honeycomb? out to jamil peterson he's added a new one he called him the diddy glover now because when he ain't got the beijing and he say he look like danny glover oh man so we, he's aka diddy glover now shout out to jamil peterson i am comedy so this we're gonna, i want to stay right here we're gonna stay within this pocket yeah. but i'm just curious what did you know that was going on in the world of diddy puff daddy p diddy that the world didn't know. What did you What did you know back then, three, that four Cassie years was ago? Gonna come forward. So mm. what What did you How did you know What did you know about what cat? Because to, wish to hear I the, could explain. Yeah. But, um. But if I explain how I knew Cassie was gonna come forward, that could hurt some people. 
See, it's cold. Um, which codes. is why the last time I sat on this blue couch, I said what I said. Congratulations, young Miami. Run as fast as Cassie did. You did say that. You that was a bar. You said that shit. Hey. Did, did you see something being around Cassie? Did, did you see anything around, being around? I don't spend time around Cassie, and I haven't seen Cassie in person since she was with Ryan Leslie. <clears throat> was there something in her eyes that you saw? The way, like, now I'm that. I'm going to put it to you this way there are mutual acquaintances between her and I. Mm. And that's as far as I can go. Okay. When you... I don't talk to her. They got to talk in but codes. But I speak to her. Mm. Did you get a chance to see her indictment, uh, what she claimed happened? Oh, no. I, I reviewed okay. all the files. And everything that she said is everything that I said with Storm Monroe three and a half years ago. Exactly what I said it was. Were you surprised about anything that came in? No. No. Wow. So... Nobody just, else should have been either. Young Jock. Oh, name dropping. You diddy doo wop bop. <laughs> it, it, it. Q. It. Because you told the truth, Jock. And then yeah. after Diddy called you, you went back and tried to clean it up. <laughs> but your is. all about is f off the Stevie J's. Did he do our bop bitches? Do you feel like that's the reason why um, this beef, but you know, that Stevie J stands where he stands between the beef with 50 Cent and Diddy? I don't know where Stevie J stands. I only know Stevie J sitting on a drum set or fuck. I don't know where he stand. Man. I know what he stand up in. And I know what done stood up to him. <laughs> take that, take that. Oh, man. So wait, so when you heard... Bitch, I can't stand these... <laughs> like, for real, like, I'm just tired. Let's keep it a bean. All these niggas... <laughs> you not even gay men because you won't claim it. No, you want to sit around and pretend to like bitch. Well, it's a lot of blurring. In That's this. what y'all do. And then you get these hard <laughs> Jocelyn. So I'm just like, curious. these are these are the you like half man. Mm. No disrespect. But Jocelyn rough. <laughs> I get my shoulders is and the way I get what she's saying. She's saying like it's a lot of dudes that basically uh who ain't came out the closet but then they try to act tough and she's basically saying why don't you be real about it and come out about it you know uh a lot of them are scared on how they gonna get judged and all that so you ever see how some dudes just be acting like extra hard for no reason you know those are the dudes she's talking about unnecessary toughness you know so I get exactly what she's saying, boy. They are blurring the hell out of this video because she is dropping some a gang of F-bombs. She like running up on I already know. She done strapped up on you. Ooh. 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 So, Jack, let me ask you. There's one, the, the shock, some of the shocking things I hear that heard. mean with a harness. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Okay, not a harness. Yeah. So I, I got to ask you this. I'm sure somebody's already asked you this, but have you ever been to a P. Diddy party? Yeah, several. Many. Honestly. And so can you take us through, like, what goes on like yeah, when yeah. you were there? What did I say when y'all asked me about the why was the T.D. Jakes at the Diddy party? Yeah. What'd I say? Money. Money. And sex. That's it. That's correct. Were you surprised that there were so many cameras in his houses? No. That he was recording these. Oh, he is the J. Edgar Hoover hip hop. Mm. Y'all better listen. Okay. Y'all didn't see him put it on the pyramid where the skirt. <laughs> so let me ask you: When you hear that Cassie was told to hire male escorts to come and the, what they call freak offs now, yeah. Um, 
that is something is that something normal that yeah. happens in Hollywood? Yeah. Yeah. Freak offs. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um everybody know that. I've been saying it. Yeah. Yeah. What how many times I got these is wild. Yeah. So do you feel like people when they hear uh pink cocaine, young Miami has to bring across that's... Wait, the two the, the two C. Yeah, the two C. That's what they got. I got no, I found out I talked to my drug guy. Because I wanted to be informed, because people was calling the two C that's calling it the Tunchi. I didn't know which one it was. So I talked to my drug guy, and my drug guy filled me in. And then it made perfect sense. Two C. Talk to him. Drugs with Jaguar. <laughs> Let's talk. Just Drugs <laughs> education. <laughs> one on one. So two C is the cocaine, but they take the ketamine and cook it up, and they they fold it into the cup. Now, if you don't know what ketamine is, ketamine is what they call on the street special K. It's a veterinary drug. It's a horse tranquilizer. Right. Now, gay men have been using this for years. See, back in the day, if you went to a gay party or a gay rave, there were certain drugs that you would always find on hand. Viagra, SD, Special K, and cocaine. Now, see, the cocaine keep you up all night, but unfortunately, it gives you limp noodle mm -hmm. because of what the blood folds is. So the, who wants to fuck with a half hard dick all night? So that's why you have the Viagra, Viagra. to make sure that the, the dick involuntarily stays hard this while wild. you're numbing your fucking self with the coke. Now see the ketamine, that's a horse tranquilizer. So that relaxes all your muscles. You could get fucked by 80 fucking um, tongue gorillas. You wouldn't feel a thing. So now your dick is going to stay hard. You numbed up. And you high, you got the ketamine in you, so you don't feel shit. And then you add the, the ecstasy to put in the feeling that you've now blocked out. And now you got a party. Freak off cocktail. Yeah. So now the two C, they done skipped. They done skipped all the steps. They condensed it. Wow. So you got the cocaine in there. And then you got the ketamine in there. And they say that some of the dealers add the ecstasy in there. Now, the Viagra, they st you still got to take that solo. Mm. But th with the tipsy, you got all of that. Within. The gay cocktail. Oh. Golf cocktail oh. in the one thing. And the reason why it's pink is because they put the food coloring in it. They think, um, he said he think they got it from the Breaking Bad. You remember yeah, how they was making the, the mess yeah, and they just... made it a special color. So they done that with the Tootsie. Wow. It... It's the food coloring. You think that... Like, As what... if you need more... When did high not get high enough? Like, I'm trying to understand. Yeah, to the point where you have to fly it across. Like, I need that here tonight. Can you get that here? Like, no... I need that here. You got... Three drugs, <laughs> powerful drugs, and food coloring. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay. Okay. You are numb. You are wired. You pop that that Viagra. You a fucking machine. You can't anything. You can't a brick wall wouldn't even feel it. <laughs> I'm sure there's footage of that. <laughs> there's footage of that. <laughs> like I'm sure you're real right. Like that um, right there is like, that's like, you know, cut me over right now, man. I ain't even going to bleed. Kind of shit. Like it's wild. Like this 2 see shit. Hey, man. Now I see how young Miami can take all that pressure. She on the 2 see. Mm. They be thinking these is over here like killing the game. They don't feel nothing. That's why they do it. Hey? With Diddy... A settling within 24 hours, which has never been heard of, 30 million or the lawsuit was 30. We un undisclosed amount, but within he knew for 30 days that shit was fitting to happen. Within 24, he could have paid that 30 million before. Yeah, why let that shit hit the fan? Did he? Because he's dead. He caught a bluff. Because he, yeah, he put, he, he should have enough money to he check. He put the boots to that girl. She's supposed to be a good bitch. No matter who she with. 
all the time he put in a grooming her? Yeah. Of course he thought it was still going to work. He thinks he's God. Yes. Big facts. He ain't doing shit. Rape the fuck out of that bitch. Put the boots to her last time I seen her. Fuck her and her trainer, boyfriend, husband. I don't get no fuck. Hey man, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. This woman does not hold back um, it's just too much information that she knows for this stuff not to be true and then when you listen to her and other people's stories they sound the same like a lot of people have witnessed this a lot i feel like the people who won't speak out are the people who are on certain payrolls to where they gonna mess their money up and she just don't give a damn uh What's, what's even crazier is I know it's even even more like wild than what we are hearing. You know, because like I said, when they talk, they they have to talk in codes. Look how much blurring they had to do on this video. You know, they have to speak in codes. Uh, and I get her saying she don't want to say the name because it could, you know, mess up something for someone else that probably gave her some information, you know, did her a favor. Like she said, I don't talk to Cassie, but I speak to her. That was a bar right there. Wow, man, this woman is just she is unleashed unleashed man and ain't holding back ain't no stopping her so much information man told you these people are wicked they're dark and it's just re really refreshing to see someone that is speaking up against this man because the thing is like i said we all grow up we listen to this music we're dancing and all this stuff I said, it's one thing for you to appreciate someone's work, but you just never want to idolize these celebrities. You never want to because uh, I remember Charles Barkley said something about not being a role model. Your parents are supposed to be your role models. You know, like maybe people crying. Like, you know, when they be seeing these celebrities and stuff and my whole thing is like, they really don't give a damn about you. They don't. Now, there's some people that are cool and that are chill and stuff, but for the most part, and it's crazy because like a lot of them come from nothing and then they get in that position where they're living this luxury lifestyle and they kind of forget where they came from and then they look down upon normal people like us. Shout out to the video. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to check out more from their channel and subscribe all right man peace out this was crazy wow